Just being there for them uh, through the good, through the bad, and just teaching them to love one another. We have all dreamt about having a twin when we were kids, right? Well, some got lucky and they even played basketball together. And it's always entertaining to watch sibling rivalries play out in the NBA. And it's even more adventurous. So today, we are going to look at the only identical twins to make the NBA. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Number 4. Lopez Twins We always have each other's backs, and Robin has that same mentality, he brings that same mentality. Lopez twins Brooke and Robin were born in North Hollywood and attended San Joaquin Memorial High School where they played basketball together. Two brothers have a lot of similarities, but the way they play basketball is very different. Brooke was drafted by the New Jersey Nets 10th overall, and his twin brother Robin was drafted 15th overall by the Phoenix Suns. Brooke was even selected to compete in the 2009 NBA All-Star Rookie Weekend Challenge for his rookie season. He averaged 13 points, 8.1 rebounds, and 1.9 blocks per game, playing in all 82 games of the regular season. He ranked 4th in the NBA in total blocks with 154. While his brother was shooting stars in the season, Robin, who was selected by the Phoenix Suns in the 2008 NBA draft, was saying, I was hoping I'd drop. I think I was the only person in the draft that was hoping he'd drop. By that time, the team already featured one of the all-time great centers in Shaquille O'Neal, and Robin got the first start of his career on November 7, 2008 against the Chicago Bulls in place of the injured O'Neal. For his rookie season, Lopez only saw an average of 10.2 minutes per game, with 3.2 points and 2 rebounds. At the end of the season, O'Neal was traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, making Robin Lopez the assumed starting center. The Twins have been traded during their NBA career many times, but on July 12, 2019, Robin signed with the Milwaukee Bucks, putting him on the same NBA team as his brother, who had been there since 2018. Well, the first rule of a mock sibling rivalry is that you do not talk about a mock sibling rivalry. Kinda sounds like Fight Club, right? Therefore, it's easier to imagine that the Lopez twins don't care much for each other. When they pass each other on the floor, one subbing in, the other exiting, there is generally no glimmer of recognition. No fist bump, no hand slap, no eye contact, or anything. It's been part of their routine since they entered the league, and nothing has changed now that in their 12th season, they are finally teammates. As Robin explains, We are on opposite sides of the locker room so I think that's helping cohesiveness of everything. Robin and Brooke seem at times to coexist in parallel universes. They are identical, but easy to tell apart, with Robin more wild-haired and wild-eyed, and Brooke more clean-cut. Actually, Brooke even admitted that teaming with his twin for the first time since Stanford has been a positive. It's obviously great to have another player who really fits into the way the Bucks are mentally, how we approach the game. A tough player who is trying to play the right way, Defense first. We are based on our defense and who's unselfish and wants what's best for the team. Number three, the Martin Twins. In that situation like she was and having to overcome all those obstacles that she did. 25-year-old twin brothers from Moxville, North Carolina played basketball for prep powerhouse Oak Hill Academy together. Prior to playing there, the Martin Twins played three seasons at Davie Country High School. As their professional career after going undrafted in the 2019 NBA Draft, Caleb Martin signed with the Charlotte Hornets and he joined his brother Cody, who was selected in the second round of the draft. The Hornets converted Caleb Martin's contract into a two-way contract, and later on the same day, he agreed to a multi-year deal with the Hornets and was converted to a standard deal. On October 25, 2019, he made his debut in the NBA, coming off from the bench in a 99-121 loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves, with 4 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and a steal. Cody, on the other hand, was selected 36th overall in the 2019 NBA Draft by the Charlotte Hornets, and his debut in the NBA was on the same date as his brother. They actually had to take different paths to reunite in the NBA. I prepared myself for weeks not to get drafted, so I was okay with not getting drafted. I was sky high for my brother for sure, said Caleb. 
Now, the dynamic duo has been restored, with the North Carolina kids starting their lives as NBA players by each other's side. They became the first set of twins in NBA history to debut in the same game for the same team. Just to be blessed to play with each other for this long, it means a lot. For us to do this here on this stage, it's kinda unreal, said Cody. For Caleb, it felt like this was a one in a billion situation. After all, that's what Caleb says, none of this has anything to compare with how we grew up. This is the easy part. Things won't go as planned. You will get upset about stuff and things won't go the way that you want them to. But at the end of the day, it's basketball. Number two, Morris Twins. You know, it's, it's, it's a dream come true, man. First, first off, you know, we like to thank the Suns for believing in us. Marcus Morris, who was recently traded from the New York Knicks to the LA Clippers, and his twin brother Markeith, who joined the LA Lakers in February, may find themselves meeting in LA during the 2019-2020 playoffs. Fans are hoping for a chance to see the twins face off in a playoff series. Well, family members, especially twins in collegiate and professional sports, create quite unique circumstances. Playing against a family member becomes even more complicated when twin brothers are members of crosstown rival teams. Marcus and Markeith are 30-year-old twins from Kansas that have each spent the past eight years in the NBA. They have been members of several teams since 2011, but they both currently call one of the two LA-based teams home. When the NBA season continues, Marcus and Markeith may find themselves playing against each other. The rival teams played one of the last games before the season came to a halt, with the Lakers earning a 112 over 103 win of the Clippers back on March 8th. They were next scheduled to meet on April 9th for a game that was postponed indefinitely. The presence of twins on opposing benches would add to the intrigue of a prospective series that already has so many fascinating storylines to it. The twins share much more than jeans and a team. They also sport the same tattoos and facial hair. Tattooed on their left arm is a beautiful image of two praying hands lifting up a basketball to the heavens. Surrounding the tattoo are the words, a gift from God. The artwork is pleasant to look at, and the shading of the tattoo's gritty, weathered hands is a representation of their fighting spirit on and off the court. It's like a permanent badge of honor, one that the twins proudly display. We always had the hope of playing together in the NBA. Our first thought growing up was that we want to be together always, so we didn't want to play the same position. You see a lot of twins play the same position because they are so much alike. That was a big thing for us that we taught ourselves, and luckily, it ended up paying off says Markeith. Number one, Grant Twins. I think I look a little better than Harvey. Huh? He's a, a good looking guy, but I'm a, a better looking boy. Horace and Harvey Grants are definitely one of the best sets of twins to ever play in the NBA. Those retired basketball players are known as iconic NBA twins. Now you'd think as identical twins, Horace and Harvey should have similar frames and similar skill sets. Yet when we look back at each player's career, we remember Horace as a rugged rebounder and interior defender, while Harvey is remembered as a skilled but soft player and the stats beat that out. They are identical twins, but they certainly did not cop one another on the floor. So how do two guys with almost the same DNA running through their systems wind up as such wildly different players? Well, the environment matters. Horace got to play with Jordan, Pippen, O'Neal, Hardaway, Bryant, McGrady, and Malone during his career. The best player Harvey Grant got to play with is a toss-up between Bullets era Bernard King and Allen Iverson before his peak in Philadelphia. But the biggest reason for their divergent paths comes down to a simple reality, which is that they had to face each other in hoops all the time. Sure, they played together in high school, but the time logged on those courts certainly had to pale in comparison to how much time they spent playing against one another growing up. Although Horace may have enjoyed greater spoils in the NBA, we shouldn't minimize the fact that Harvey was able to make it a different way, developing different skills and still ending up with a long, successful NBA career. The Grants were quintessential old-school power forwards. They used strength and brute force to work their way around the paint and move opponents out of their way in the process. And we respect them. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it. Which NBA twins are your favorite? 
Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.